so uh, we're working on the raised beds today. We have a little bit of dirt to start with, but um, I kind of got ahead of myself and we filled the first bed with dirt before we put the liner down. I'm not gonna move all that dirt again, so we're gonna use this as our test bed and see how many weeds grow. Uh, for the other beds, we're gonna go ahead and put down this barrier. We picked it up at Lowe's. Um, we're just gonna kind of place it in and put dirt on top of it. And It'll be interesting to see how many weeds we get in the bed with no liner versus the ones that have liners. Um, how much weed picking I need to do this year. Hopefully it's a lot less than when we had it directly in the ground. We're gonna drop a link to how we built these raised beds for $20 in 2021, which is pretty freaking crazy. Lumber prices are ridiculous. And this is a simple solution we came up with. All right guys, so when we made these beds, we kind of cut the, the bottom of the posts at an angle under the assumption that, you know, we could probably pound it in, but this ground is pretty compacted. Um, it's been a lawn for a lot of years. So what we did, a lot of dirt, yep. I got my helpers over here spreading the dirt out in these beds. They're doing an awesome job and they might get a, a little treat because of that. Um, but what we're doing is we're laying our beds down. We're measuring them out to, uh, to be even. We want to make sure the wheelbarrow can get through and they're all even in a line. They're not perfect, but they're, they're pretty good to the eye. So. so once we have these all laid out and lined up, what we're doing is going inside and we're going to use just uh, marking spray paint and we're going to hit the ground right on the inside of the post and then that way we can move that and then just use a, a little axe and uh, get the dirt up out of there just enough so the post can fit into the ground and be seated properly and then we'll push the dirt back over and then we'll put the liner in and then fill it with dirt. So let's just do that real fast. Uh, it's a pretty simple process but this is going to be marking it with the paint is going to be a lot easier than trying to fight it and uh, dig a hole for the post while it's on top of it. All right, this is the first one we made with the long stakes and those long stakes you have to dig a lot more so I'd recommend going on the shorter end um, rather than longer stakes. So, just a tip. All right guys, that is it. Um, the project is done today besides these little monsters messing around, um, flattening these out. We probably need about three, three and a half more yards of dirt. Um, so we gotta pick that up, not today, but we're going good. Um, nothing needs to get into the ground till when. Another, we got another week to put dirt in here, okay? It'll be perfect. Good morning, Goat Ace. Buster Man. What's the word? Trotting around. Your beard's getting bigger. Milo! Good morning, my Milo Man. Good morning, Milo Man. You're so sweet. You're such a sweet boy. Yeah, you don't got a beard. No beard for you. Just a beardless man. All right guys, so yesterday we went and picked up four more yards of some compost to fill up these beds. Looks like pretty decent stuff. Let's go look at it real fast. Doesn't look too bad. Let's get this in there. We're just going to be using some shovels and a wheelbarrow. Man, I need a tractor, huh? We're just going to get a wheelbarrow real fast and then um, we're going to put our liners in and then we'll get the sides secured. Then we can come back and fill it up with dirt.
Man, times like this, I'm glad that we have a covered run. I don't know if you can see them. They're flying away now. Two big hawks were just circling over here. They're pretty decent size, and uh, we want to get rid of some chickens, but I don't want, I want too many to go, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, that wraps up uh, loading our beds. We still have quite a bit left off that four yards. Um, this is a couple inches, maybe inch and a half from the top here of the raised beds. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So when it rains, it'll hopefully compact it. And then we left it there. We can top them off need be. And then we can move that over and use it for our other things that we're going to sew directly in the ground in a different spot in the yard. And then we can also have it on standby for when the girls plant their flowers and whatnot. So, not bad um if you're looking to do raised beds make sure you contact a landscaping or like a, a supply company before you go buy a bunch of bags from lowe's because it will cost you a lot more four yards was 120 bucks 30 bucks a yard for compost ain't bad mm -hmm.